Hello, Jules. What have you been doing at um, our museum recently? Well, I've come across to do some conservation work on these uh, Bashka glass models that we have a small but very fine collection of. Mm. So they are Blaschka models. Where does the name Blaschka come from? Well, Blaschka comes from, it's a, they were a father and son team, and they come from Germany, and they were decorative glass makers. But they branched out around about the 1860s, 1870s, into making models of sea creatures, particularly mm. soft body ones like jellyfish and sea anemones. Because at the time, when you, you think about it, people would see these things on the seashore, and they'd be a blob, a lump of goo. And what they were trying to do is capture the shapes and colours and textures of these soft-bodied marine animals in living life. Mm. So they were taxonomically correct and inspired by sort of great works of taxonomic works of the day. Mm. And they're so intricate. I mean, if you want to come closer and have mm. a little, little look, um, it must be very um, challenging working on models like this that are so um, fine okay. and delicate. They they are um, and. They're very old. I mean, these are probably made around about the 1870s, 1880s. They started off with these sea anemones, so these were some amongst the first models that they started sort of production of, mm -hmm. and had a little catalogue, and what would happen is they sent a catalogue out, and they'd have an agent, and museums around the world would go, ooh, I'd like some of those, send it off, they'd make it, and then it'd be packed up in a horse and cart and steamer to wherever it went. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at models, glass models made around 1870, 1880s, so a good hundred and 40 years old now, mm. 40 years old. Um, so, you know, they've had quite a tough life. They've been on display. And there's a whole intricacy to them, from the glass, from the resins they use, from the way they painted it, to the way they tried to get the colours, the shapes, the textures of what's often quite gelatinous animals. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's part of the challenge, because they all look a bit grey, and some of them particularly more grey over time. And that's what we're trying to do, remove the eons of the dirt and stuff, and try and bring them back a little bit to their former glory. Right, fantastic. So we've got some here, and then over there we've got the jellyfish. And that blue one there is particularly striking. Yeah, that's a siphonophore. They're, they're, they're of jellyfish, though they're not strictly jellyfish. Mm. Um, but the jellyfish are particularly what the Blaschka's got renowned for, and, and you can see why. The, mm. the shapes and textures, the bells, the colours and the glass, um, they're the ones that really capture people's imagination. Mm. But they made a whole range of different marine animals, sea cucumbers, um, sea slugs. They made lots of um, squid and octopus. Um, they even went into anatomical dissections. We've got a big one at the National Museum of Wales, which is a cuttlefish that's all made out of glass and lamp blowing techniques. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, to enlargements of microscopic animal life, uh, planktonic life, all sorts of bits and pieces. So, wow. but towards the end of when when they stopped making the glass animals, they had about seven, eight hundred different models in their catalogue. Yeah, and has your work um, in Blaschka models taken you to other parts of the world as well as Guernsey? Uh, nothing too fancy, really. Uh, I have been out and about with them. Our, our models have toured at the National Museum of Wales have toured quite extensively. They have been to Australia and back. Wow. Uh, we've worked That's out quite a packing <laughs> <challenge>. <laughs> Yeah, the packing challenge is quite good fun. Uh, quite a few years ago, me and a colleague uh, worked that one out. So uh, quite a few of our, co our collection still gets actively used and mm -hmm. loaned out. So we're, we're, we've worked it out mm -hmm. that they, they can travel. So, um, but this is only a small part of my job. I mean, my job is as a conservator across the natural science collections. So actually, I work on all sorts of material, mm -hmm. uh, and usually it's kind of dead squidgy things, <laughs> oh, <laughs> rather than the artistic change. side. Yeah. But, so, yeah. but I did a lot of work on our collection about twenty odd years ago when they were starting to come back to predominance. They, they cross the art science boundary. There's a lot of popularity to them mm. these days, and you see a lot of museums have certainly sort of like looked into their collections and thought, oh, we've got some of these, we mm -hmm. can do something with them. Precisely what's happening here, which I think is absolutely great, because yeah, they're, they're coming back out of the cupboard. Don't yeah, so. definitely, and they'll be going on display, and um, they'll, they'll, they'll look extraordinary. Um, how does this, like you say, small collection compare? What do you think, what do you think of the Guernsey collection of the Basque? Oh, it's a, it's a fantastic little collection. We've only got about 20-odd models, but there's a lovely little selection of models. Um, I don't think some of them... I'm not sure if any, if any of them have been used extensively, particularly these ones here. They're actually they're still on their packing card. Oh, yes. Uh, this is how they would have been shipped across. Yeah. Uh, this one's particularly fine. It shows the intricacies they went to as they got deeper and deeper into the taxonomy of these animals. So this is a little spiral. This is a sort of shell polychaete. And uh, that's the actual animal, which is a very, very tiny animal that you see 
sort of uh, cemented stones and things on the seashore. Mm -hmm. And this is an enlargement of the whole animal out of its sort of little concretion there. Goodness me. And the so it's greatly yeah. enlarged. Yeah. yeah. It's really extraordinary. They're just wonderful things to look at. And um, thanks for coming over and lovely to meet you. Yeah, great. Cheers. Pleasure. <laughs>